I blew up my rocket. Yes, that's my beautiful blue fiberglass uh, three inch Prometheus that I had a build video on recently. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's gone. I also blew up the uh, case. The uh, forward retainer here is gone. The snap ring and the forward enclosure is probably circling the moon right about now. And I doubt that Aeropack retainer is gonna come off there anytime soon. Also, I blew up the stand. And this is the blast plate from the stand. Uh, you can see there, and wow, that's that's like a perfect fit right there, don't you think? Anyways, uh, yeah, it was a rough one. So uh, today I wanna talk about the Kato, and I wanna talk about where it happened. So let's take a look at a few pictures of the Kato, and then we'll talk about Michiana Rocket Club and where that's located and the great time that I had there. ago I attended an event called Mayhem hosted by Michiana Rocketry. It is located near Three Oaks, Michigan. Three Oaks has a charming little town with an old time Main Street. It has a wonderful deli there and if you miss that deli then that's almost a crime. I mean it was really nice. And across the street there was a bakery, lots of things to do there, little shops and things if you want to take the wife or girlfriend. Great place to check out for the day. Not far from Three Oaks is a town called New Buffalo. They have a beautiful beach there. It's a little beachfront town and just amazing sunsets, a little harbor there. Really enjoyed my stay there, lots of things to do. So let's get back to Mayhem, the three-day event that was uh, hosted by the Rocketry Club in April. Mayhem was a wonderful time. It's a large field with uh, lots of clearance. I saw some beautiful rockets there. I met a lot of people, made some new friends. And at the end of the event, they even had a banquet with a drawing where a lot of people won things. Uh, it, it was just a well-run event. But they had all kinds of things. They had college teams, families. They even had Girl Scouts. And the fun thing about the Girl Scouts was every launch was accompanied by jumping and dancing and things like that. So there were like additional sound effects for every launch and recovery, which was just fun. It was a great day, lots to see and do. They had food there, uh, just everything that you needed for a pleasant launch. There also was a level three launch there, I believe went around 7,000 feet. So, and they had a flying disc golf basket, which was really cool. Anyways, uh, it was at, there at that event that uh, I catoed my motor, and uh, what happened was I just I just pushed the motor too hard, and I wanted to get some big air, see how far I could push it up, and uh, I built the pressure up too much in the motor. I, I planned uh, not as well as I should have, built up too much pressure, and blew the end of the motor off, and uh, you could see the damage there in the pictures. Anyways... I would encourage you to stop by there if you live anywhere near there. It's kind of centrally located in several states. Uh, it was a really good event with uh, lots of clearance, a really large airfield. I enjoyed it. I hope to be back. And uh, at the end, uh, they gave me the uh, blast deflector. Now, I'm not sure if they wanted me to have it as a keepsake or if they just wanted, to, wanted me to be gone. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, Jerry, I blew up your pad. Had a great time there anyways, met a lot of new friends. And so that's my report for Michiana. Check it out sometime. It's a great place to launch your rocket.